Too many fathers are MIA. In my dream. Too many fathers are AWOL. I'm walking down the night. Missing too many lives. With my and kid. too many homes. They've abandoned and their I know responsibilities. That he will take care of me. And our They're family. acting like boys instead of men. And I look up to him. The foundations of our family have suffered because of it. We need to help all those mothers out there who are raising their kids by themselves. The mothers who dropped them off. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and welcome once again to the Self-Improvement Basis for a Community Development Talk Show. I'm your weekly host, Brother James Muhammad, and I'm honored to have on the show this week Brother Andre Muhammad, one of our student ministers in West Memphis, Arkansas, and also one of our prison reform minister. Good afternoon, brother, and welcome to the show. How you doing, Brother James, and thank you for having me on. Brother, it's honored to have you on the show, because this week we like to focus on the inner city crime, uh, particularly among our people. I know you work in the uh, prison reform ministry, and you're also a student minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, under Brother Minister Anthony here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, when we look at our community, we look at the things that has happened lately in the news with the young uh, nine-year-old getting caught in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. There's a killing every other day on when we turn on the news. I myself, when I watch the news, the first five stories is about some crime that men like you and I have committed. Right. which paints us in a very poor picture. Mm -hmm. What is the role of the community in solving the problem that you see in our community when we're dealing with this crime? Mm -hmm. Well, brother, first of all, let me uh, first say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. I bear witness there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. And thank you uh, for allowing me to come on, uh, come on to your show today and on behalf uh, of Brother Anthony Muhammad, who is the student representative of the Uncle Louis Farrakhan here in the city of Memphis. And I am one of several of his helpers, and of course, as you mentioned, I help in the, uh, in the community as far as uh, organizing a study class and a study group in West Memphis, Arkansas, as well as the prison reform ministry. As I see it, Brother, and I kind of took the liberty of uh, trying to prepare myself with some of the questions that I thought you would ask and that you made me aware that you would possibly ask about our community. I took the liberty of looking up the word community because when we use certain words, uh, oftentimes, you know, we uh, assume that we know what we're talking about and we know exactly what they mean, they mean based on the context in which they're being used. But the word community, as I looked it up, it says the people of a district or country considered collectively, especially in the context of social values and responsibilities, a society a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. And ecology, which is a branch of biology if I'm not mistaken, is a group of interdependent uh, organisms of different species uh, growing or living together in a specified habitat. Well, when you look at that definition and look at our community, then the elements that make a community what it is is missing in our community. Okay. So before we can even begin to really fulfill our role effectively of helping curtail the problems that lead to criminal behavior mm -hmm. in our community, we have to address those things that disallow us from actually being a healthy community. But and when we're getting into our role, and, uh, our role in um, solving the problems, if you will, it begins at the family level. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan teaches us, and uh, history, and religion, science will bear witness to this, that the woman is the cornerstone of the family, and the family is the cornerstone of the community, which evolves into nations. So, Getting into our role as it relates to solving the problems that lead to crime in our community, we have to begin attacking those problems at the family level, particularly beginning with the female. Okay, so you know, you know, my wife, she's a teacher, mm -hmm. and she is very concerned about the student, but she's just as much concerned about the parental care. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a parental problem in our community. You know, uh, gentlemen. Uh, laughed at me a couple of days ago because I said 
you know, these are sex babies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were born out of the act of sex. Mm -hmm. No love involved, no planning involved, no cultivation involved, no caring involved. Right. So what you see in our community with the harsh crime are children that have never experienced proper love. So they don't know how to give love. That's right. So they have no value with one another. That's right. That 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 is the manifestation of behavior in our community that we can term as irresponsible. Um, we have yet to accept the responsibility of parenting as a community. There are some families in our community, of course, that are successful, that 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 are doing a good job of of raising and rearing their children. But racial and proportionately speaking, by virtue of the fact when you look at the numbers of young black men that are incarcerated, uh, young black women that are, are having children out of wedlock, and particularly in Memphis, and, and as I'm sure you've stated on your show many times in the past, even in light of the fact that you have a religious house on every corner, uh, just about in the city of Memphis, and we have more churches per capita in the city of Memphis than anywhere in the world, Yet you have the problem of poor parenting uh, to such a degree that it's 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 it, it defies description in words. So um, when when we talk about um, the problem of poor parenting in our community, it 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 deals with the breakdown in our families. It deals with the history the history of what we have undergone as a people, the, the psychological damage, the spiritual damage that has been done to us as a people, historically speaking, by way of slavery, that has not properly been redressed. So a generational this, curse. Yeah, we, it's called a generational curse. But we are, we are a people, brother, that have been dealt a spiritual blow to our psyche. And it has been such a devastating blow that has not been healed in words and to this very moment there are remnants of that that still manifest itself in our behavior uh, we've been totally desensitized if you will uh, to our own plight and uh, we're having children out of wedlock there is no commitment male to female the family structure has broken down so we have had a generation or if not one or maybe two of women who have had children under these types of circumstances and they themselves were not bonded to the parents so they couldn't give their children what they themselves did not receive. Okay, now you mentioned the religious community. We know there's a responsibility that lies on a religious community because whenever God sees a people like us in this condition, he raises up a messenger or a prophet or someone to teach the people. Now I know within the nation of Islam, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad recognized that spiritual problem, but he also rec recognized that family and that parental problem. Mm -hmm. uh, he set up classes. What was the purpose of setting up these classes that actually deals with this uh, this uh, crime problem mm -hmm. in our community by properly teaching a male and a female? Well, a as I understand it, brother, uh, the classes of the Nation of Islam, and, and you're referring to FOI, uh, which stands for Fruit of Islam, and MGT GCC, which stands for Muslim Girls Training in General Civilization class. Particularly, I can speak on the FOI class specifically. That is a class, uh, it, it, it's set up, and it's a name given to the military training of the men that belong to Islam in North America, FOI, that's what that is. And in such a class, we learn the role of the male from God's perspective, the nature of the male, the demand that the female makes on us and the demand that we make on the female from God's perspective. And when we begin there and understand our role and the aim and purpose and the proper use of self, when we as men engage our women, then it makes for healthier relationships male to female. When we are taught, when a man is taught the proper use of himself and, and the, uh, how to proper, properly relate to a female or his mate, then he's better suited to be a good husband 
and a good father. And, and 